Hey, what's up? Six Talio here, and I'm going to be showing you how to correctly flash your 3GS 4.1 baseband to 615.00 without fucking it up. And what you're going to be using is Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. And sorry if the video call is kind of blurry, I'm using an XSS. And yeah, not that great. <laughs> And we're going to be using the iPhone 3GS 4.1 IPSW file. Once it identifies, it's going to ask me if it's a newer or older boot ROM. I know this is newer, which would mean it's a tethered jailbreak, but because it's 4.1, this will not be. So click next. Even though it says it's going to be tethered and you'll have to boot it as tethered, if it's on 4.1, you will not have to boot it as tethered. And only have CDS selected. Do not select the install iPad baseband. If you do both of these the first time together, it oh. will screw up your phone and you will need punch tool to um, restore it with a custom IPSW. And yes, my phone's already in DFU mode. I don't need to go through the steps. And there it goes. Sorry, my desk is a, a bit of a mess. And that is my daughter talking to me. <laughs> Thank you for a boot. Because it's done. Me. And it's just reading all the shit. And the way I figured this out, I actually screwed up two 3GS iPhones the day after the release of this unlock because I didn't do one or the other the first time. I didn't just jailbreak it. So yeah, that screwed it up. Hold on. Um, also, if you're not seeing where it tell you moving applications, that means the jailbreak didn't work and I found that out a few days ago and the way I fixed that was by reinstalling iTunes so if you ever run into that problem that's how you fix it just reinstall iTunes installing bundles, rebooting All right, we're also just to save a bit of time here we're gonna open up Red Snow again browse 4.1 Yes. Next. Install iPad Baseband. And remember, if you install the iPad Baseband, it is permanent on your device. You will not be able to restore to stock iPhone firmware. And the only way to restore it is to, like I said, make a custom IPSW and Ponish tool. 4.1.3 Unlock Edition or some other version if you can use it. Anyway, it's permanent on your device, you cannot remove it as far as I know. But we're unlocking this one, so we're going to go ahead and install it. Now, before anything, make sure Cydia is actually on the device. Yep, there's Cydia. Now, the way to put it into DFU mode, you... Yeah, my daughter's playing with my stuff now. <laughs> anyway, um, you can either just follow Red Snow and their little tutorial how to put it in DFU mode, or you can just do it yourself. You do this by holding the power button for three seconds. After three seconds, um, don't let go, but start holding the home button as well. And then, after those ten seconds, let go of the power button. So we're going to go ahead and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let go, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I uh, stop it. Alright? And the easiest way to tell whether or not you're in DFU, just simply hold the power button for a few seconds. If it doesn't turn on, you're in DFU mode. And we are in DFU mode. Okay, now we can go ahead and just press next. Fetching iPad baseband files. Waiting for 3GS, exploiting. Waiting for a boot. It's going to come back on. Installing jailbreak data or download hammy. And also, sorry if the video quality of this is a little bit poor and blurry. Um, I'm using a Nexus S to record this, so yeah. It's an awesome phone, but <laughs> the video recording quality sucks, and I do not know how to uh, make it focus or not. Was it or was it not a good decision to get rid of my iPhone 4 for the Nexus S? You can also leave your opinion on that in the comment box below. There we go. A flashing baseband. And one thing you definitely want to make sure of when you do this, do not ever disconnect this. When it says don't interrupt, do not interrupt at all. Don't turn your computer off, don't do anything. And there's my daughter talking. Uh-huh. Also, uh, just be a little bit patient with this. If it's taken a bit of a long time, don't worry about it. That doesn't mean it's not working. It just usually takes a while for this to flash. And my daughter is climbing on me now. <laughs> uh. This can take about a minute or two minutes sometimes sometimes it just depends on the phone or the version it's on like this one's just 4.1 um, also if you want to set up MMS with um, an unofficial carrier like T-Mobile or Simple Mobile um, you will not be able to receive MMS picture messages. You can send them, you can use your internet, but you cannot receive picture messages. Why this is, I don't know, but it has something to do with the iPad baseband. And from what I'm hearing, is that the dev team is trying to come up with a fix for it. But other de details other than that, I have no clue whatsoever about. Okay. Now it's going to reboot and it will have the 06.15.00 baseband on it.
to settings, general and about, is 4.1, and there, if you can see it, it's 06.15.00 baseband. Now you can, all you have to do is set up Cydia. Um, one, after it's set up and everything, go ahead and install Ultra Snow, and your iPhone will be unlocked for any GSM carrier. Again, do not ever restore your phone unless you have a custom IPSW. All right. If this video helped you out at all, be sure to subscribe and comment in the box below. Alright, see ya.